Now on to India. So as you can see, a much different building set. Here's a barracks, here's a castle, and one of the very cool things about India are our elephants. So here, here's some battle elephants. Well, actually right now we have six different kinds of elephants in Age of Empires III, the Asian dynasties. I'll bring some of my elephants down here. Here we have siege elephants, which are awesome because they're huge elephants with big cannons on their back. We'll bring them down here and we'll set up an army. And before we go attack, let's talk about what the consulate is. The consulate is actually a building that you build in your town to establish relationships with European nations. So after I have this building built, I go down here and select this button and I choose an ally. So as you can see right now, my options are British or Portuguese. And just like with Wonders, the consulate gives me active and passive abilities. So passively, the British allies give me 10% unit hit points and Portuguese give me 15% building costs, cheaper. Actively, I can train these units out of the consulate. So right now we're gonna accept with the British and you can see in the, in the building, the British flag is raised and then I will go down and I will select my British Expeditionary Force. Once those guys are trained, I have red coat units that I can actually join to my army. So we talked about a historically inspired campaign. Well, for the Indians, it's their revolt against the East India Company and the British for their fight for independence. So we're gonna attack our British friends up here with our siege elephants in the back, lobbing cannonballs, and we'll bring up our new red coat units that we brought from the consulate. And that's India.